Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 8 of Lots of Giants. Last episode, I made myself some powder cake, I made myself some guacamole, got my bees down, and oh god, I clutched it with the bees, I got the last bee I needed. As it turned to dusk, that was pretty cool. Realized that I haven't exactly been killing Mac Tusk when I should have been killing Mac Tusk, because I think we only missed like a day of winter, which kind of sucks, but we're working our way up here. He is all the way up this way, so it's going to be quite the walk there. But we'll go deal with Mac. Should be easy enough. Uh, I have my hand bet in my backpack just to preserve it for a little bit. I do want to, and I talked about it last time, on the way home, which I'll probably be using the purple wormhole again, uh, I'll go home, uh, kind of like walk around the outskirts. I need to get rocks. I need to get gold. There's grass and twigs to be had. There's also like three gourds, knots, maybe even some more trinkets. We'll probably get some more trinkets as I open up tumbleweeds. Anyway, I need to get some gold out of that, and we'll take that over to Pig King, convert it over, so we'll be set then. I expect a boss attack here soon. It's been a little bit, and we haven't had one happen yet, so I kind of, I, oh, <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> I gotta burn this tree down to get warm, but yeah. But it's been a little bit. I feel like we have one of those coming up here at any time now. Uh, you know what? Like, while that fire does its thing, and I'm definitely still getting warmed up from it all the way over here, I'll chop this tree down. I'll murder this tree. I'll murder its stump. Problem solved. And now, we have our fingers crossed. Please, Mac Tusk, for the love of God, drop the walking cane. You know you want to. <laughs> that's what I'm. That's what I'm hoping for right now. I really want the cane. The Tam I could live with or without it, but it's all about that walking cane. Okay, so let's attempt to use Chester as a distraction. Oh, okay. I don't want. Yeah, I could have sat there and just killed Mactus, but I didn't feel like going with the hounds. I'm gonna let the hounds just kind of go bye-bye. <laughs> if we just walk long enough, they'll get distracted on Chester or they'll just turn around. But I'm gonna push Mactus out of his little his little hidey hole here and butcher his ass. I don't even have to deal with this. Is that what I That's what I think it is! Yes! It happened! Yes! Yes! Thank you, RNG Jesus. Thank you. It happened. That's my cane. Also, armor in the two slot always. Go, Pengals, go! Do things. Do things and stuff. You know what? I'll just... We'll just butcher you real quick. And then, like, if you want to come over here, I'll kill you too. Oh, well, you, you screwed up big time. Hey, buddy. I'm not even worried about him. <laughs> I could kill Wee Tusk, but I don't really have a need for it. So Wee Tusk can escape. Goodbye, Wee Tusk. I am happy with what I got right there. I won't, it, what, it won't be needing this anymore? No, no, it won't. I should have examined all the things, but I was a little bit too occupied killing them. Some outdoorsy types made this. For some reason, I feel like that's somebody else's examine. Better to lose a tooth than your tongue? Oh yeah, it's a nice hill, but I won't make a mountain of it. Um, yeah, that kind of sucks. Did I examine the beef well? That fits perfectly? No, no, I didn't. But, uh... Yeah, I would have liked to examine Mac Tusk. It's not to say I don't visit him in like three or four days. So 25, 26, we'll need to make a, another trip back here. But first and foremost, let's get our ass to base. Uh, this thermal stone's actually getting really freaking cold. So this seems like a good enough idea right now. I want to make this walking cane, but look at the gold supply. I actually can't. <laughs> so we're, we're really hurting for gold right now. Yeah, that's that's a problem. We, we, got, we got to go get some gold. Yes, we do. Uh, I don't have my other endo pre-crafted. I forgot about that. I did get my double endos down for D-Fly, but I do gotta make another one. Hey, buddy. You're not you're not wet Joe and or wet wiener. You're, you're, you're not the pig we're looking for. You go bye-bye now. But let's get a warm thermal. Let's go to like, the base, drop some things off, get my thermal warmed up. Uh, swing by, pick up the grass and tweed that's there with the tumbleweeds. I still never made like a farm, a grass and twig farm. That's part of the beauty of living in the desert. You don't really need it because you already sort of have it but I would still I'd still recommend making one but uh, yeah it's it's quite nice okay we'll eat some honey nugs because who doesn't like some honey nuggets in their mouth I mean in in around your mouth slot that's just where honey nuggets belong there's juicy nuggets mm, I'm just getting into this a little too far aren't I that's what she said anyway let's get our ass back to base I mean I guess I can hit some of this grass but like I'm gonna get it when I go to base anyway also, let's take a seed. Uh, Chester, you want to hang on to this? Because we do have to farm, and part of me going around the desert, like part of what I want to do, is I want to mine up the rocks, because we need rocks to make our farms. 
I also need manure, so I need to start feeding pigs berries, or maybe start collecting our, our flowers, which I really haven't harvested that many, if I can recall. Like, petals? I haven't picked up too many. And then we can use those... Hey, Moosey's here somewhere. How convenient. Like, relatively close to base. I do not like that sound one bit. I don't like Moosey either. She's mean. She has too many bugs associated with her. Where's she at? She made the noise like as soon as I came through the wormhole and it really didn't have a direction to me for some reason. No screen shake. Moosey, where you at? Moosey, Moosey. Ooh. Moosey? Um. Moosey, I'm not hearing nor seeing you. Please just be south and closer to base, because that would actually be very convenient. You want to be this way? You have a bone to pick with him? Harley, he's dead, you savage. And all this ice we're going to get from these pangles. That's something else I need to do. So I don't even see this, Moosey. Huh. Well, I'm going to go back in just a sec to see if I can find her, but I want to drop some crap off. I did put a seed there. Cool. Uh, what's going on in the ice box? This stuff has got to get cooked up. We'll put this in the ice box, and there's some beefalo wool here. Get the fire nice and toasty. Okay, we'll, we'll try to salvage this. I could feed to the bird for some eggs, but if I cook up the meat, I at least have the meat for a little while longer. And that gives me potential for, like, meaty stew and things. So let's just get this stuff taken care of. Focus on getting grass and twigs and stuff and gold and rocks. But I also gotta go find that moosey. And I would like to drop this nighter off. Or I can, No, I can't make my endo yet. So you know what? I'm not gonna hold this. I'm not gonna hold this. Not until we get the rocks and the gold and things. You. You don't need this. Or Actually, keep the hammer on you, son. You, you could probably use that. Two thermals. Get myself a double thermal stone shack going. These are mob drops. It's too full. Okay, we can make that a marker. Uh, that can't hold anymore. What do I want to make? What do I want to make? Mm, I can make, like, surf and turf, I'm trying to think. I don't think I can make anything... Right, I could do monster lasagna, but that's not like one of the things that I need to be making. So why don't I do this? We'll just make some honey nugs, more honey nugs and honey ham. I could even do. But uh, can I throw these seeds? I can, but like, at what cost? I should just get rid of some of that crap in there. Uh, and I would benefit from a little bit of sanity right now. So let's just clean out our inventory and get some food in our tummies, and we'll get out of here. So, double thermal stone shot, get me nice and overheated. Yeah, he's he's not really happy that I'm feeding him what I'm feeding him, but he can get over it. Okay, hang on to that for me, good sir. Come on, come on, come on. I gotta get oot and a boot and figure out what's going on here. We gotta go kill Moosey, too. But I gotta go loop around. Moosey shouldn't disappear. I mean, if the first Moosey stayed as long as she stayed and the egg didn't disappear, then this Moosey should be fine for me to, like, just go around the, uh, the edge of my desert. So, in the backpack, this goes on the ground... Or, oh, I have the seeds in here, dear. Mm, let's use you as a marker. I don't have any plans for you. And I don't have anything else for sanity because he really does not like the cactus flesh at this point. So I guess he's just going to have to deal with it. Well, let's go along the edge and see what we can find. I can't make my cane yet. Ah, I guess I should get rid of the blow dart, too. There's no point keeping that in my inventory. Here you go, blow dart. You can just stay here. So that bird's just going to stay there for all eternity. That's just sort of how the cookie crumbles. I'm, I'm sorry, bird. Sorry, buddy. Uh, hopefully I don't encounter too many hounds and whatnot while I'm out here. If I find a big group of rocks, like, down here in a tree nearby, I'm going to light that thing on fire, warm up, and mine that, because I need the rocks. Cactus. Uh, there's no point in me getting the cactus right now. Warley's already sick of it. you going to have to give him a little bit in here. So it sucks not being able to just numb on that entire stack. But... Warley is picky, and we have to deal. Picky old Warley. You know what would be a better idea to mine this now? Come on, come on, come on. There you go, and that's why. Because I can just do this. <laughs> I don't need to have a light source. There's no tree over here. Feels bad, man. It's a good bit of rocks, but I know for a fact I'm going to go through them real fast. Uh, just to not forsake my sanity any more than I have already. I'll make another fire. Until I get the until I get the tam and I can just be like stupid with my sanity management. I guess I should be a little careful with it. I just realized I left my portable crock pot at home, which we're but two feet away from home, so I should swing by and pick it up. Because Warley is gonna be picky. Uh, you stay in my backpack. I don't wanna I wanna kill you. Ooh, rope. Rope's good. We have rope at home. 
More rocks? Um, I can't, still can't make what I need to until I get the gold. I may have the rocks for what we need, but the gold's the, the limiting factor. Obviously, there's a bunch of gold rocks over here, but that's by the hounds. I'm pretty much going to rely on the just ridiculous amount of trinkets I suspect I'll be obtaining here shortly. Moosey, don't you dare disappear on me. There should be no reason for you to. i got to give you time to lay your egg anyway. Alright, there's all my rocks. Hmm. I think this is enough. I think that's enough rocks. I think we're good. We'll mine this one up and we'll go drop it all off. Should be okay for now. You can't do that. You can do anything you put your mind to, Warley. Just, just don't, don't, don't. Don't believe them, crazy people. What fresh devilment is this? I don't know if I've examined a Maxwell's door with, him, like, with half the characters I've played so far. If I stop and think about it. Do I have rope in here? Mm, you know what? Just burn this shit. Okay. Let's get my crock pot. Maybe even make something. Maybe even make a meaty stew. Uh, I should really get away with the veggie in there. So, I have to make monster lasagna even though it's not gonna do me any good but that's just to you know cross that kind of off the list so that sucks but <laughs> it's something I've got to make uh, the eggs I already made the tart tar I'm just like trying to think here of something else I could I could do up real quick okay let's get a little a little more toasty come on just just a touch more just just the tip just the tip Warley I get it you're hungry you get hungry real quick that's kind of your thing I know I know. And I am satisfied with how warm we are right now. Give me my crock pot back. And down here we go to hopefully find tumbleweeds with trinkets. Uh, grass and twigs, because looking at the grass and twigs, we're, we're hurting on them. But I know that for the fact there's trinkets on the ground. I just hope that I can find them. Tumbleweed, I guess I'll take you what you got. Grass and twigs, exactly what I need. I just don't have to deal with too many hounds over here. I think I can get away from most of them, but there's most definitely a mound right there on the edge of that darkness. Not the end of the world. We have a football helmet, we have a hand bat, we can kill them if we need to. Fight me, hounds. Warley is ready. He's ready to beat you with his meat stick. It's not quite, it's not quite, quite, it's not quite a West tier meat stick beating, but it's still a meat stick nonetheless, and it's gonna hurt slapped across your face. You don't wanna get mushroom stamped by Warley. I don't think that's a pleasant experience. I don't think it's a pleasant experience to get mushroom stamped by anyone. I wouldn't know. I'm, I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> anyway, I'll try to get over here. All this ice, I want it. I know for a fact certain recipes require ice, and I'm going to need it. I have a little bit in the ice box, but considering summer's our last season, like if we don't have everything we need by then, we're sort of fucked. Uh, I don't want to push it. I don't know if they, yeah, I didn't think the hand bat would kill them in three hits because it's degraded a bit. I got just a bunch of twigs in this pile. Just a bunch of twigs. Works for me, man. And this gives me, I guess, the opportunity I've been waiting for to map this out. Okay, hand bat's where it needs to be. Thermal, get on my hot bar. Hey, there's another gnome. That's the second gnome. Uh, I want the, the monster meat to be in my backpack, just to preserve it. Ah, oh, grass and twigs. Who needs to make a grass and twig farm when you live in the desert? Desert bases are best bases! Desert bases next to Pig King are best bases. Those are some of my favorites. And screw it, we'll eat some seeds. You prefer some variety? Ah, you'll get what you get, buddy. You'll get what you get out here. A cool customer. So he likes pangols. Hmm, soup stock. I mean, that's kind of what you do with bones, I guess, and marrow and things. But, uh, yeah, he, he calls them cool customers. I find that awkward, considering our relationship right now with uh, pangols. I... I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of pangols, and I don't think they like me either. There's one gourd's not. That's a good bit of gold right there. Let's keep going. Oh, really? A full stack of grass? That is not a problem, because we can load Chester up now. I still gotta swing by Moosey before the other bosses start spawning in, because if I don't deal with her... I want the rot. If I don't deal with her, then I have to deal with the, all the bosses at once. And it's not that I don't want to do that, it's that I don't want that extra risk of burning another drop that we wouldn't usually burn because we usually take Moosey down before it becomes a problem. Now I think all the Gord's Knots are along the edge. Really? More gears? I, I think the Gord's Knots are along the water's edge. I'm hoping they are. I don't really remember. I just know for a fact we had to leave a lot behind. So I got two on me. 
There was definitely a third. There's a third. Here we go. All right. So bland. Ah, you'll get over it. You'll get over it. There's three gourds not. There's the fourth gourds not. We're we're swimming in gold, people. We're swimming in gold. I don't want the stinger. I do have a. I do however want to pick these tumbleweeds because tumbleweeds have just like done nothing but good for me. Here, hang on to all of that so I can pick up some things. I think that tumbleweed just spawned. At, le at least it felt like it. Maybe I didn't quite catch it. Uh, you and you and you and you. Oh, you're full. Um, okay, that's what I wanted to do so if I could use my lantern. Mm, I don't necessarily need half the stuff that I'm picking up here, but like, I'll take it. Okay, give me that gourd's knot. Let's go on to Chester. How many are we sitting on? Four? Four gourds knot. Four, four gourds knots. That's a lot of, that's a lot of gold incoming. Now, let's head over the red wormhole, because that pops us over by the piggies. Mm, you can carry some more of those. Here you go, here you go. A stack of grass and twigs already in Chester's face lot. What, what more, what more could I have asked for? Tumbleweeds. <laughs> they are the ultimate grass and twig farm. They are my favorite. Now, if only we get a if we could get a green gem drop out of a tumbleweed, I'd be happy. If only you were more turkey than vulture. So, so <laughs> the law that misses you. The beast loss is my gain. It would really sting not to have a use for this. A bit too thick. Yeah, I've examined all of that. Well, um, let's do this first. Now, I'll, at least I'll be nice and toasty. I don't have a use for stingers. Like, really, I do not. And I want these on me to just kind of give to the pig king once we get over there. There's no... Don't come over here. Actually, where'd you aggro from? Damn, son. It's a long aggro range. Anyway, pop through the wormhole. I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's not unreasonable to assume that he could aggro from there. It was just weird. And straight up to the pig king. We are starving, but I kind of postponed it because we just ate honey nuggets. Uh, I wanted to eat the meaty stew next. And here we go. Look at that. That hunger value right there, though. A blue shroom. A blue shroom could prove useful, for sure. Another blue shroom could prove useful. Health or sanity, depending on what I need. And that would kill the spawner if I burnt that. I'll refrain. I think I'm warm enough. Let's kill this torch before we kill our, uh, our lantern. Gotta wait for Pig King here to wake up. Is there anything for me to burn here that I don't really care about? I mean, I could dig up this. You know what? And then, where'd the torch go? Here. And while we're sitting next to Pig King, we have a ridiculously good fuel source. That works for me. And I'll even let my torch go away. We're on the inventory slot. We freed up. Not very palatable. Well, it's okay, buddy. Y y you'll get over it. Make it rain, Pig King. Cheeky. His name is Cheeky Chris. Hello, Cheeky Chris. What's up, buddy? What's your name? Karkala? Uh... I got all the gold that I could ever want right there, right then and there. Mmm, I could break these pig guts down. I said I would. That's boards, rocks, pigskin. I can carry it with what I've got on me. Uh, Thermal, can you just get warm? Thank you, buddy. And that fire's kind of raging. So, let's harvest all of this stuff. At least as much of it as I can carry back. I want this pigskin. I could, of course, kill the pigs first, but there's no real need to know lots of giants. I'll get what I need, and we'll get the hell out of here. And I can come back to these pigs later. I could start picking all the flowers that are here and convert it to shit, but I still feel as if getting to Moosey now is a better idea. Because I fear for her despawning. I mean, we've... We've seen before how strangely fickle Moosey can be, and I know they fixed the bug, but even sometimes when there's no bug, she still just disappears. And I don't really want that to be the case. That can happen. What perky little ears! Can't get fresher than that. How many critters can I fit in there? Uh, I already right, examined that. Boards? Sigh, it'd be so perfect for, or it would be so perfect for grilling salmon. I don't know if I remember that. What delicious to show you, you. Hello, Bishop. You don't strike me as particularly spiritual. Well, I mean, the name is kind of misleading. I don't know, you're just kind of a dick. And again, I'm sure people know dick bishops. You know? That's just how it works. Religion! Yay! Anyway, this is an undiscovered wormhole. 
I also don't have a lot of sanity. And... Cactus Flesh hasn't been doing so well for Warley because he's sick of it. If I mix up with some green caps, that'd be good. But I don't really want to push it. The poop here, however. I'm going to push that poop. Oh, yeah. That is lewd and suggestive. And that is a poop... That is a... That is a poop joke and a half, and if you understand the other half of the poop joke, you know what I mean. I'm gonna take this stuff back to base, because I can make another farm out of this. And maybe we'll actually find Moosey when I'm back there. So I was, like, right here when I heard her. I didn't see her, though. I really wish she wouldn't follow me, Killer Bee. I wish she would de-aggro and either go after Chester or go after a Beefalo, so I can watch them smite you. Because Beefalo don't play around. I, you, you don't mess with Beefalo, buddy. You just don't. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, somebody fucked up, see? Somebody fucked up. <laughs> somebody did something they shouldn't have done. Yep, 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 you're gonna hit me in the face because I kind of walked into that one. But I'm sort of looking over here for Moosey. Where are you, Moosey? No, I don't hear anything. No signs of Moosey. What happened to these Pengals? Huh. Unless they're still walking over here because they just spa- Yep. I spawned them in, then I unloaded them. That's why. It's a little weird, but it explains it. I still haven't seen Moosey at all. I haven't heard her. Please tell me we didn't get shafted out of this Moosey spawn. There we go. Oh, this Moosey spawn. That's a good sign, because it means she's here somewhere. Or close. Close enough that her egg did something. Uh, I'm a little cold. I need to turn back, but like... I just wanted to check up here. Moosey? Like, where the fuck are you? I got our lightning strike. Did you go closer to base? <laughs> this is awkward. I've never had such trouble finding Moose Goose. Okay, Moosey. Well, that, that it means your egg's down. It means you didn't disappear, so I should be fine to go to base and clear my inventory and come back and kill you here in a bit. Um, okay. Sure. Have it your way, Moosey. Jerk. Where the hell are you? Let's see, I just, I just want to play. Yeah, are you over here? Alright, Moosey. I'm done with you. I'm so done. I'm getting my walking cane first so I can speed this up. Okay, the rope. Mm. Screw it. Just burn it. Just burn it. Extra boards. Cut stone. I have so much cut stone. Uh, another gnome. The f the poop, and then the stone, and then the grass will enable me to make yet another farm, which we're going to need a lot of farms. Chester, I want this. Combine that. Uh, grass and twigs. Let's store what I can. Okay, that's looking a lot healthier. We're running out of twigs. Uh, Dookie would go in here, but like... Yeah, this stuff hasn't rotted, so let's do this. Double thermal stones, that's obviously for my double thermal stone strat, which I need to get one of that to work. Um, goodbye, log suit. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't need you anymore. Mm, let me take a look at this ice box. This stuff's all but guaranteed to go bad. Spoiled carrots. Mm, let me think here. I'm trying to think of anything else that I could make that I haven't. Uh... I really don't think there is anything I can I can use for any recipes that I don't have. So, I mean, I'll cook it up, I guess. I might just eat them. I might just make ratatouille out of them to fill up my belly. Just to kind of get rid of them. There's no point in me planting them. No point in me giving them to the bird to get carrot seeds, because we don't specifically need carrot seeds. Like, not very palatable. Yeah. Uh, here. Make me some... probably ratatouille. Some really inefficient red too. It'd probably be better to eat the carrots raw or cooked. In all seriousness, but we're just gonna make it. Mm, that means I can store you and you. There we go. Take the people head off for but a moment. Cool. Back to 69. Aw. Oh. There you go. We're good. Chester, Chester, Chester. Enjoy. So there's some red for me. Just keep that in my backpack. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Carrots. I can hang on to. I can hang on to the carrots and make crappy food out of them. All this meat, I mean, I can make another meaty stew, but it's just, we're just gonna forsake it at this point. I might as well cook the rest of the stuff up. My sanity being in the pooper is kind of bad for when the boss fight occurs, the future boss fight. Now he wants to eat something different, so he's not, he wasn't completely upset that I was feeding it to him, so it was kind of worth it. All right, 
I've got to find Moosey, but I also want to make my walking cane. What am I missing? Oh, I don't have a tusk on me. Deep. Thought I had my tusk. There's my walking cane. There's my sanity back. There is my ability to switch between a weapon, and it's amazing. So, we have what we needed. I can go visit Mac Tusk again now, and I could go get my Tam, so maybe that's something I'd do. Um, a lot of the foods that I can't make, I actually made a list. Uh, for example, uh, let's see here. Surf and Turf, I need I need fish. Ceviche, I can make this stuff, I need fish. Um, uh, seafood gumbo, I, I mean, I need to get fish, but we can't fish right now. Taffy, with all my honey and things like that, we can make just to knock out the recipe. In fact, I could make taffy right now. Just to give myself some sanity. I could put a twig in there if I really wanted to be fancy about it. But there we go. Uh, I want to go deal with Moosey next episode. But it is time to wrap it up here, guys. I'm sorry to say. Episode 8 of Lots of Giants. Let's see. This desert mapped out like I thought. It didn't connect anything. I still haven't hit up the swamp. And there is a wormhole here. And I don't know where the other attachment is. So I may hop through it. It might just take me further into the swamp. I don't really know. Could take me to this desert. But I need to go kill Mo I need to find... I don't know where she's popped down at. Like, right here, I heard the egg. I heard the lightning. She's here somewhere. I just gotta find her. We'll probably be dealing with our next boss attack, I'd say, next episode. But, uh, yeah, should be fun, guys. Wrap up here, episode 8. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.